UW System reprimanded UWL Chancellor Joe Gao for inviting a porn star to speak on campus. UW System President Ray Cross sent a letter to Gao earlier this month stating that Gao exercised poor judgment. News 8's Jordan Fremstead now joins us with reaction from Gao. On November 1st, porn star Nina Hartley spoke to students and staff at Centennial Hall on campus. After controversial media attention surrounded the decision to invite her, Gao said he would reimburse the university $5,000 it cost for Hartley to speak. Now the UW system is searching for answers. Free speech is something UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gao is trying to push on campus. I'm a big believer in the First Amendment to the Constitution. At the start of November, as part of Free Speech Week, the university sponsored guest speaker and porn actress Nina Hartley to come to campus. I thought, let's have an event where we hear from a speaker who uh, has a perspective very different uh, from our own. The discussion sparked controversy with several media outlets. Gao released a statement following the event saying in part, quote, no one was required to attend the event, which featured a uniquely qualified speaker commenting on a socially significant topic. Moreover, those who did attend had the freedom to make up their own minds about what the speaker had to say. Gao said those media headlines sensationalized things. I think people lost sight of the fact that it's very important to promote free speech and, and have that taking place on a university campus. According to the UW System Policy for Academic Expression, academic freedom includes the freedom to explore all avenues of scholarship, research, and creative expression. And it is not the proper role of the university to attempt to shield individuals from ideas and opinions they or others find unwelcome, disagreeable, or even deeply offensive. I assumed that the speaker that I chose would be uh, you know, not only protected by that policy, but even encouraged. The UW System's letter to Gao on November 6th says he acted poorly in exercising judgment, something that is up for debate. Personally, I think this campus should be viewed for its education. And by bringing in someone with that nature, I don't think it was necessary. The sexuality is something that a lot of people are curious about and are afraid to talk about. And so I think that that was a really important and brave thing for her to do. The decision remains in the past, but Gao says he will continue to promote the conversation of free speech. Free speech means a lot, and uh, if I can live that, uh, I'm proud. Now, I did receive an email from Ray Cross's office from the UW system that says they want him to use better judgment when it comes to situations like this. Cross also warned Gal that he's ordering an audit of his discretionary fund that was used to reimburse the university. Okay, thanks a lot, Jordan. And Gao's decision could also affect a raise that is being considered by the Board of Regents.